Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Lou. Sorry I've been gone for six months. I've just been really busy at work. So now we're going to look at my collection that I bought from now all the way back to March. So here we go. We're starting with uh, Secrets of Dumbledore, the new Fantastic Beast movie. I never got a chance to saw this in theaters like I would have liked to, so I bought the 4K version at Target with a gift card and I owed seven extra dollars. So it's about Professor Albius Dumbledore and trust magic zoologist Newt Salamander to lead a team of wizard witches and one brave muggle baker on a dangerous mission to stop the powerful dark wizard Gilbert Grinwald and his growing legend of followers. But with the stakes so high, how long can Dumbledore remain on the sidelines? This looks interesting. It's on HBO Max, too, but I just don't like the streaming quality on there. And I heard the 4K is better. And the fantastic special features are expansive featurette, meet the newest characters, and Beast, and the stories, join the cast and crew, and their favorite scenes, deleted scenes. So we'll take a look at this. See, it comes with a 4K and a Blu-ray. And I'll open it up. And the discs are pretty much the same for the Blu-ray and the 4K. I haven't got a chance to watch this yet, so I'm hoping to watch it soon because I own all the other Fantastic Beasts movie and it completes my Harry Potter collection. And also, the other reason I'm making this video is because this is my first Arrow video collection ever that I own and I heard the Arrow video is a really good video maker for people that love 4k so I decided to go with True Romance with Patricia Arquette I love her as an actress so I decided why not start with this one it's about Elvis worshiping comic book store employee Clarence Woodley played by Christian Slater is minding his own business at a Sony Chewbacca triple bill when Alabama Whitman played by Patricia Arquette walks into his life and from then on the two are inseparable within 24 hours they're married and on the run after Clarence is forced to kill Alabama possessive psychopathic pimp driving a Cadillac across the country from Detroit to Hollywood the newlyweds plan to sell off a suitcase full of stolen drugs to find a new life for themselves but little do they suspect that the cops and the mafia are closing in on them will they escape him? Make their dreams of happy ending come true. So, I can't read you all the special features because that has a lot of them. But I can show you them. It's just hard to read and I'm not going to get into all this. And it's written by Quentin Tarantino. I love to film Pulp Fiction. And hopefully one day they will make that on 4K. So, this is the cast of the movie. This movie was made a year before I was born. Can you believe it? And then it just comes with, you know, little postcards, little flash shoes. And then it comes with one disc, which is interesting because I want to know how many gigabytes this disc is because it's holding the 4K and Blu-ray. And I heard the Arrow videos are really good transfers. So I bought one disc because the other one was $32.99 and I wasn't paying the up cost for that. But if you want to look at the poster that came with it, I'll open this up for you. Wow, that's a huge... That's a huge fucking post. Wow. I might have to hang this up in my room. This is... I can't even fit it all in the frame. But, man. And I like Tony Scott, too. He was Ridley Scott's brother. I'm going to have to hang that up in my room. That's a beautiful poster. And last but not least, it comes with a collector's book. Just going to show you the front and the back of it. Because I don't want to ruin anything in case you buy this yourself. Alrighty. So now we're going to get into one of my favorite movies 
that I purchased. We're going to get into the bad guys. As I'll never have there have been five friends as infamous as the bad guys. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Snake, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Shark, and Mr. Tarantula. After years of countless heists and being the world's most wanted villains, the gang is finally caught. Mr. Wolf broker a deal to keep them out of prison, and the bad guys set out to fool the world into believing they're gone good. I really enjoyed this movie. Not going to go into any more than that. My favorite character is Mr. Snake, because in the next video, I'm going to go more in depth in this review. But... It comes with a 4K and Blu-ray. My bl my bl as you can tell, my Blu-ray is missing because I gave it to one of my good friends. So yeah, I'm gonna go more in, in depth in this review when I make another video coming up. Alrighty, the next one is Little Infamous, and we're gonna be talking about Morbius. It's about Morbius transformed into an anotic anti-Morbius, dangerously ill with a rare blood disorder and determined to save others, suffering the same fate. Dr. Michael Morbius attempts a desperate gamble. While at first it seems to be a radical success, a darkness inside of him is unleashed. Will good override evil or Morbius to come to his mysterious new urges? There are special features on here. And I like what they did with the fork. I don't know if you can see it. Heard he transforms into some much. Oh, there it goes. I bought this one because I heard, you know, some people liked it, some people didn't. And I heard the transfers a lot better than the stream. I have not seen this transfer yet, so I cannot vouch for that. The only thing I can say is that the stream was really dark and it was hard to make out certain scenes. So I upgraded this for like $26. Uh, let's see their bonus features. I don't know if you can see them. But I like Jared Leto. A little bit. Not crazy about him, but he's all right. And as you can tell, it just comes with a basic Blu-ray and 4K deck. And now I bought... I also really liked this film. I was sick when this one came out, so I watched it twice within a week. And I really like the Batman. I just wish the chemistry is better between Zoe Kravis and Robert Pattinson. It's the only thing I have a complaint about. And I liked the length. I liked everything. It was the way it was supposed to be. I didn't get a chance to see this on physical yet. But I've heard it's great from Films at Home. And he's always my guide to picking up films. And there's two hours of special features on here. But one day when I get a chance to sit down, I will rewatch this three hour event. And there's one 4K disc because this contains the movie. And then we got two Blu ray discs. One's a special feature and one's just the Blu ray because this movie is almost three hours long. So it means I'm hoping the 4K disc is really like a good disc. Then I bought Uncharted. I never got to see this in theaters. I would have liked to. I heard mixed reviews on this movie too. But my friend Danny said it was good. So I picked this up. And I never played the game. So I probably would like it. It's about street smart theft. Nathan Drake is recruited by seasoned treasure hunter. Victor Sully Scullivan. Played by Mark Wahlberg. To recover a fortune lost by Fernand Miguel and 500 years, years ago. What starts a heist job for the duo becomes a glow-trotting white-knuckle race to reach the prize between the ruthless Monica, Monica, who believes his and his family are the rightful heirs. If Nate and Sully are decipher they, the clues and solve one of the world's oldest mysteries, they stand to find five billion in treasures and perhaps even Nate, a long-lost brother, but only if they can learn how to work together. You know, it has regular special features on it. And Blu-ray and 4K. And then I bought Dirty Dancing. I hadn't seen it before, like, maybe before I watched it two months ago. And I ended up really liking this film. I thought it was a coming-of-age story between Baby and her partner, played by 
Patrick Swayze. I mean, a lot of people feel differently about this, but I thought it was good. The only line that was not very good is Baby in the Corner line. I thought it was never put Baby in the Corner, excuse me. But I was like, yeah, it could have been better because I was expecting more. I know this video is long just because I haven't been on here. And then, you know, we have the 4K and the Blu-ray and bonus features. But let's take a look at the Steelbook because I think this is pretty nice for a 30th anniversary edition. So let's go pull this off and take a look. I really like the image of Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze on the front cover. And then on the back, we have them doing the lift. And I think it's pretty nice. And I'm going to show you the disc for this. I think it looks really nice, the print. And then I'm going to pull out the other disc for you guys, the Blu-ray. That one looks really nice, too. That's why sometimes it's really nice steel bucks. And those I will pick up occasionally. And then, sorry about the glare. Then you got them kissing. I just thought it was a really good dance movie. And then you got the grandmother from the Gilmore Girls. Oh, my Lord. I, Kelly Bishop. She is phenomenal in that. Like, she is unforgettable. She's also one of the reasons I watched this movie because I loved her as Lorelai's mother in the Gilmore Girls. And she just blew this out of the park. And we got a couple more to go. I just want to definitely pick it up. I'm not really going to go too much into this movie, okay? Because this was infinitely bad. It was terrible. I guess poor Halle Berry can't make any good movies anymore. But she decided to do this horrible NASA movie. It was terrible. It fucking put me to sleep, all right? I don't even want to go over this. Please don't waste your money on it. Please don't even rent this movie. It is not good. And I'm not even going to show you the disc because I just feel like this is a terrible movie. And why was this ever thought that the screenplay would be a good movie to make? Who knows? Because it was fucking awful. And last, and then I got one more after this. Second to last. I really liked Nightmare Alley. I really like Guillermo del Toro as a director. I think he makes very good fantasy films. Like, the first time I ever really saw one of his movies was The Shape of Water. So, I really liked this movie. It was slow at first, but then once it picked up, it became good. It's about when a manipulative carnival man played by Cooper teams up with an equally deceptive psychiatrist, Blanchett, to regret the wealthy in 1940s New York society. In order that his partner in crime might be the most formidable opponent yet. Nightmare Early is directed by Del Terrell, who co-wrote the film with Kim Morgan and based on a novel. It's starring Bradley Cooper, Kate Blanchett, Tony Collette, William Dolfo, Richard Jenkins, Rooney Mara, and I really like this cast as rated R because some scenes are very graphic. But I ended up buying this after I saw this in theater with my aunt and cousin. And it's one of my cousin Brianna's favorite movies. I suggest you pick this one up. Like I always tell you, the physical copy is always better than the shitty HBO Max streaming service. And then, you know, it just comes with Bradley Cooper on the 4K. And it comes with a Blu-ray version. This is Nightmare Eliana, just classic. And it comes with, like, three bonus features that I have not watched yet. And last but not least, Sing 2. I rented Sing 2 when it came out because I really liked Sing 1. So I thought, oh, Sing 2 is going to be a really good movie. And then it really was. And it has a great cast, you know. It has um, Reese Witherspoon, Scarlett Johansson, Taggart, Egerton... And Bono. I really liked all the actors in it. It was good. Surprisingly for a second film. So I'm going to pull off the thing and show you the case. 
And it's also got Matthew McConaughey as well. Bobby Cannavelli, Tori Kelly, Nick Kroll, Pharrell Williams, K Hazley, Lolita Wright, Jennifer Saunders, Nick Offerman. I like all the characters. I especially like Reese Witherspoon as the Rosita the Pig. He's so she's so funny. Like she's one of my favorites. And I can make this video too much longer. And then we got a purple thing for Sing Two. And then the porcupine. On the 4K. I hope you guys enjoy my video. And I'll try to make more content when I have some free time. Because I will be getting in um, other movies. Such as Live, Die, Repeat. With Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. And I was looking at the steel book. I'm like, yeah, is it worth spending the extra money or just keeping the regular one? That will be my first time seeing the movie. And when Top Gun Maverick comes out, I'm definitely going to buy that one. Because I didn't see it in theaters. Hope to see you guys all soon.